is horrible! Hey, Lemon, do you have any extra of those? Okay, mm what is happening? <gasps> Lemon! Fusion Mary wants to interview you about your inventions! That's awesome! Also, what's Fusion Berry? It's the technology and innovation website. Every tech head in the city reads it. And that makes you nervous? They want me to talk about one of my inventions. You love talking about how everything should be bigger, stronger, more powerful. To my friends, not to some science stranger. Morning. <gasps> you should do it. Me? I don't know anything about your inventions. But you're so good at talking and words and stuff. Come on. Hey, Barry, good rotation on Earth's access to you. I plump put it from Fusion Barry. You must be the incomparable Lemon Meringue. <laughs> I'm not Lemon. This is Lemon. Pleasure to meet your intellect. Oh, uh, of course. Formalities are an unnecessary precursor. Please, show me your best innovation. No. I know, right, Lemon? Who can pick from so many great inventions? I mean, there's the Dream Clean 3000. Bitch <laughs> exploded. Oh, the Sparkberry Turbo Cooler. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the Cake Nader? <laughs> so many Cake Naders. Great inventors are always trying and failing. That's inventing. What's your neural noggin working on now? Oh. Oh, that's a uh, lemon. What are you doing with my cat? I call it the Kitty Cannon! Oh, marvelous. Such precision. Such <laughs> 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 Fascinating. Uh, might you have any inventions that perhaps are less of the exploding variety? Uh. <gasps> yes! She does! Ta da! My very, very oven! Oh, it's an oven. Not just any oven. It's got a. Um, well, it's actually hooked up to the. Well, it's pink! Oh. Strawberry is a really good baker and has to serve lots of customers. This is custom made bigger for maximum bakage. And extra racks inside, and it's hooked up to the truck's Sparkberry energy intake, so it's extra powerful, just the way Strawberry likes it. Just to be clear, not all my inventions are pink. I knew she had it in her. Perhaps a demonstration of baking might be in order? Fresh from my one-of-a-kind lemon meringue made oven, I call it a galaxy cake. That was galactically good. Lemon, thank you for an illuminating afternoon. I'll post the article tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Not bad for some berry who doesn't like talking about herself. I'm glad Strawberry was there to speak up for me. But I'm also glad she has no idea how to talk about tech stuff. It helped me figure out how I like to express myself. Outstanding oven helps Strawberry Shortcake bake it big in the city. Lemon, I am so sorry. I shouldn't have talked so much. That article is fantastic. It's all about my oven, not me. And the oven looks amazing. It sure does. Maybe more of your inventions should be pink. Don't push it, Shortcake. to be a pet and not have a care in the world. But hey, being a busy berry is a good thing. Every berry is loving Granberry Jam's famous triple berry jelly donut recipe. Mwah! Thanks, Granberry Jam. Without your special card, I'd be lost. Aha! Uh -huh. Without that recipe card, short berry snot cake would be lost. I need to steal it. Or, since you're a baker, you could, I don't know, go with me here, bake something? Once I send Snot Cake into a self-doubt spiral, I'll bake something better than she could dream of! Sour Grapes, has my protege helped me steal that card? Strawberry doesn't deserve that. Oh, even after she didn't come to your surprise party yesterday? What surprise party? 
when Noberry showed up, I didn't tell you about it because I care. So? Oh, fine. Whatever. Ah! Emergency! Ah! Jelly in a donut. Wowza, how did you come up with that? My cranberry jam, actually. How interesting. Tell me more. Ow. I'm sorry, allergic to donuts. <laughs> this is it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake. Oh, you, you won the Berry Work sweepstakes. Go out front to claim your prize. <gasps> I don't even remember entering a sweepstakes. <laughs> done for today. I knew I didn't sign up for a sweepstakes. Wow. Must have had the wrong berry. Great mustache, though. Oh, thank you, Custard. The most important ingredient is confidence. Love always, cranberry jam. See? I'd be lost without her special card. Wow. Aw, you've been laying around all day. What are you so exhausted about? tree for my family. Finding a dress for the holiday party. Building bread pudding a snow machine that turns the berry works into a winter wonderland. There's just not enough time. time! What time does blooming berries close? I gotta get a belt. An engine belt for the snow machine. <laughs> you berries need to relax and enjoy the holidays. We'll enjoy the holidays if we can get everything done in time. There's always enough time. That's what makes Winter Swirl so magical. Every Winter Swirl, Cinnamon Swirl flies her cinnamon sleigh around the world. If she can do that in one night, then we can get everything done too. Yeah, but Cinnamon Swirl has magic. And an army of berrykins baking all our treats. I'm not sure there's any magic that can help us get everything done. Oh, I think there is. There's magic in the air. A special magic swirling everywhere. We'll be okay this holiday. Even though it's true that we have so much to do, the real magic here is doing it all with you.
joy and cheer. So just sing ba la la. The holiday's here. The holiday's here and the magic is you. So just sing ba la la. The holiday's here. The holiday's here and the magic is you. Done. Pretty magical. Really just good time management. I bet even Cinnamon Swirl would be impressed. Wow. wow. I have a feeling she is. <laughs> Winter Swirl is the most magical time of year. It's Bite of the City. <laughs> <laughs> We're throwing a little soiree in the clubhouse so we can all watch Kiki Key Lime Super Sweet New Year's Eve Special! We're just hours from the countdown and a live performance from Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairy! I love the Berry Fairy! <gasps> My argument's a legendary, contrary fairy! I can't wait until midnight when the gumball drops in time spare. Or... Right here, it's a Mecca Mini Gumball Dropper. Sink to the big one in Times Square. Lemon, that's great. But there's only one place I want to be tonight, and that's right here with my fairy besties. Strawberry, we have to go now. Raspberry, what are you talking about? Check your phone. Kiki Key Lime invited the two of us to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> but. We made these plans, and... Do not even worry about it. The universe and Kiki want you there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> this is all very sweet. But we have to go! Best New Year's Eve ever! Kiki will be here shortly. Help yourself to craft services. <laughs> Look at us, backstage craft services, waiting for Kiki Key Lime. We have arrived. This is our destiny. <laughs> huh. Our destiny is kind of cold. Well, I'm sure K -K -K Kiki just needs to recover from those bright lights on stage. Besides, it's not that cold. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little cold. There they are. Strawberry shortcake, raspberry tart. I'm so glad you can make it. We are going to have so much fun. Tell me absolutely everything you've been up to. Well, we were so excited to come here because we knew that you're- Sherry Bobbleberry is gonna be late. She can't be late. We can't postpone midnight. <sighs> Sorry, girls. Need to handle this tiny thing. Then it's all us. You're gonna love it up on that stage. I'm sure she'll be right back. Ever wanted. We're almost ready for you. In just a few minutes, you'll be standing next to Kiki and waving. Won't that be the best New Year's ever? Best New Year's ever. Right. Okay, maybe tonight's not perfect. It's cold and Cherry Bumbleberry was late. But the two of us are gonna get to stand on stage near Kiki Key Lime. Every fairy will see us up there. What could possibly be better than this? Well. It's almost gumball drop time! There's Kiki! But 
Where's Raspberry and Shortcakes? Shouldn't they be with her? Nah, they had better places to be. Huh? You're back? The universe did not prepare me for this. W what happened? Well, we told Kiki that we really appreciated her invite, but there was only one place we wanted to be tonight, and that's right here with our very besties. Aww. Aww. Besides that gumball in Times Pear, not nearly as impressive as a Mecha Mini Gumball Dropper. Ten, Hurry up, it's nine, time! Eight, seven, okay, six, you were right. Five, this four, is better. Three, <laughs> I know. Two, two one! one. <laughs> <laughs> I joined forces for a special hair a berry pie. We have so many orders, we can't leave to deliver them. Luckily, I uh, know a berry. Who has two thumbs and a berry okey wagon that makes deliveries? This berry, right here. <sighs> no way. What? Puck is very reliable. <laughs> <laughs> This order goes to Fruit Leg Alley. Nothing can go wrong with Caramel Tartufo's pies. Luckily, I know a berry. No, I'm too busy. And also, no! Please, Fred, I need some very smart, punctual, and fabulously responsible to keep an eye on. Come on, we all... I know she's just flattering me to get what she wants, but it doesn't mean it's not true. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to follow my plan exactly to get these pies delivered on time. No questions, no conversation, no... Huck. <gasps> no unscheduled stops! Mr. Mangosteen was just telling me foxberries are in season! We don't have time for foxberries. Okay, let's get Huckleberry. Where are the pies? Give us back our pies! Please! So, how's it going? Completely under control. Really? We'll call you back. Phew! Whoa, Brad, that was almost a disaster! Okay. If we take Cinnamon Street... <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and then I said, Cheese, mister, you gouda fooled me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hawk. So funny and helpful. Here, I bought extra nutmeg. My way of saying thank you. Huckleberry! Look, Brad, Mrs. Crumbcake just gave us thank you, nutmeg. Oh, does she have any focus on your job, Ginger, to go with it? Uh, I don't think that's a real spice. Come on. Pain. Am I being punished? I feel like I'm being punished. <sighs> it's okay. I'm sure Mr. Tartufo will understand. I don't understand. To say I've been waiting all day would be an understatement. Sir, we could give you excuses, but life's real adventure is the journey. So we made sure these pies went on an adventure so big that you would taste our journey in each bite. I accept your nonsensical answer. I will consider our business concluded. Okay, let's get going. Uh, Mr. Tartufo, do I smell bilberries? Good nose. These bilberries recently fell off the back of a truck. Please take some on your way out. Awesome! What took you two so long? I'm sorry, I tried, but he just kept being him. Why is he your delivery, Barry? What ingredients did we need for tomorrow's pies again? Nutmeg, bilberries, and foxberries. What's that have to do with any? That is why. Thanks, Huck. Don't thank me. Thank my very bestie, Brad. If it wasn't for him, who knows where I would have ended up. How? Don't worry, buddy. I'll teach you to be a delivery berry just like me. Great! So you two can be our delivery berries again tomorrow, right? No! Yes. It means yes. It's Bite of the City. <laughs> <laughs>
The Peculiar Purple Pie Man has a special holiday announcement. Indeed, Kiki. Buy one of my frozen purple pies, and if you find one of these five tokens baked inside, you've won a month's supply of my new frosted mini pies! <laughs> Aw, the Purple Pie Man's feeling the winter swirl spirit. We should buy a pie. I won't buy it, because I don't buy it. He's cheating. I know it. How? The tokens are in the pies. You aren't putting the tokens in the pies? Of course not. Why should I give away a month's supply of mini pies? Because that's what you said on TV. Niece, we let the customers think they can win, so they'll buy more pies. It's a victimless crime. Every berry wins, except the customers. So what about the tokens? Lock them in the register after the shop closes. And don't forget the alarm. I don't need some dishonest berry stealing a token to collect pies I have no intention of baking. Wow. We need to get those tokens and get them into some pies. But we can't do it alone. We need to put together a crew. We need a berry who knows her way around the berry works. The compass. So, uh, is there a way into the purple pie shop that isn't the front door? Yep, there's an air shaft leading right to it. We'll need a berry who knows tech. The Brainiac. Ever build anything strong enough to suspend a berry in the air? Automatic licorice dispenser. Yippee pie yay, berries. We need a berry that's light, fast, graceful. The feather. You, uh, mind being upside down? Does this answer your question? And a berry to watch our backs. The eyes. I can see the past, the present, and the future. Just waiting for Sour to leave, then Orange can snag the tokens. Over. Huh. <laughs> huh. Sour Grapes is gone, but there's some scary purple lasers on the floor. Careful, Orange. I've got this. That was easy. I can't believe it worked. It almost didn't. Good thing Sour Grapes left the tokens out for Orange. Huh? Let's give Kiki Key Lime a call. Jingle bells, snort cake smells. Ah! I can't believe Sunberry found all five of your tokens. What? That can't be. Oh, yeah, it can. No, 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 there's been a mistake. I got the tokens. Give me my pies. They're still my pies, and I won't give them away if I don't want to. <clears throat> oh, you, sir, I didn't help Mommy. <laughs> Claire's dad runs some shady business in Fruit Leg Alley. Not the kind of berry you want to mess with. That's why we gave her the tokens. Mission accomplished, berries. We're a pretty good crew. My tinsel team. The strawberry six. Or maybe the shortcake seven. It all started out simply enough. Are you sure about this, Orange? Totally! My dad uses this momentum mixer every berry bounty banquet for his chunky gravy. It should work out great for your strawberry foam. Mm, I need a big batch for Honeydew Sorbet's birthday. Oh, I have to pick up some strawberries. But I will be back in five minutes. Leave it to me. You get perfect foam, I get a great workout. Just tap me on the shoulder when you get back. I'll be in the zone. Uh, you missed the trash can. Oh, did I? <sighs> Don't worry. I've got it. Gee whiz. Thanks, neighbor. <sighs> Can I 
interest you in my new pop and papaya cone? Papaya ice cream and a whole lot of firework flakes. My treat. Free? Why? The universe told me you should have it. <laughs> huh. I give you the embiggening ring. Imagine how many drinks we'll get from one biggened fruit. Are you sure it won't, uh... <sighs> Only one way to find out. Whoa! Can I try one? Sure. Just don't switch it to shrink. That's still in beta testing. <gasps> Let me go grab my tools. Mm. Where did you get that cone? Blueberry gave it to me for free. Niece, how many times must I tell you? We don't support local businesses, even if it's free. <laughs> and beginning in five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Purple Pie Man. Oh, please. I had nothing to do with this. Huh, the shrink feature works. Score! I demand to be returned to my normal Pie Man stature! Well, okay. But we should probably clean up first, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how dare you! You'll never get away with this! Once I'm no longer sprinkle sized, there will be a reckoning! I. Whoa, oh, 